Hi everyone, it's Vacha here from Recording Studio 9 and thanks for joining me again. Today we continue the procedure part 4 of getting our uh, Behringer FCA 1616 audio interface connected to our Mac using the Firewire connection. Now before I go any further, um, I did find some extra information which was hidden in the box. A couple of uh, papers. One of them is about uh, driver download. Remember how I mentioned that it's not in the uh, in the book, in the quick book? Uh, well, they do have an amendment, so uh, they actually instruct you how to download uh, for Windows um, as well as Windows 8 and um, OS X drivers, which you don't need and the firmware download and so on. So there is extra paper in there, as well as instruction in multiple languages about how to actually switch between USB connection and a firewire connection, which is what we're gonna do today anyway. So I will ex physically show you how you switch the unit. So um, the one we are talking about is obviously is this box here. Um, so we're going to connect it to my Mac and um, get a microphone connected and fire up um, a recording software and see how it all turns out. So without any further ado, let's get onto the screen and find out how to do it. Now, as you know, this audio interface, this device can actually handle both uh, USB and Firewire connection, which is quite unique. You won't find many units actually accept both interfaces at the same time. So they are the USB or Firewire. So this, you can use it in both cases. Now the way to select which one you want the connection to be, because you can only have one of them at any one time. So obviously there's no power switch. So you need to manually connect the power at the back. So let's connect it up. If I can find the hole. So you can see it does its uh, initialization and it flashes. And now, as you can see, it's flashing blue color. It, blue means, as per the instruction, is now waiting for a USB connection. So at the moment I don't have anything connected, it's flashing, so waiting for connection. So as soon as I connect my USB cable to my laptop or my PC, the flashing will stop as when it synchronizes. If it doesn't stop, that means something is wrong. Now to switch it over, we unplug it back from the back. We press this button down and then hopefully I will get the right hole and we plug the power back on and keep it our fingers down. Now it's flashing red. So we okay. So now it's waiting for a firewire connection. So the only way to connect is using the firewire cable to the to the Mac or even a PC because you can actually use Here's my firewire. There we go. So you can purchase this firewire PC um, uh, boards where it's got, well this one's got four, three at the back and one from internally as well, as you can see. So you can even use a PC to connect Firewire and uh, or the Mac already has a Firewire on Thunderbolt behind it. Now, that's the Firewire cable or Thunderbolt cable, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. So um, that goes at the back of the Mac and this is the other side, so they, as you can see, they are a bit different um, in, in, in shape. Um, what came in the box had the same connection as this one on both ends, but what we needed was that one on the, P, on the Mac end. This is good. If you have the uh, the PC connection, as I've shown you with the Firewire card, so that's not a problem there. So I had to get a new cable so that this side would connect to my Mac, um, and this side 
would connect to the um, FCA 1616. So basically, there's only one place that it can go. We'll just plug it in there. Like so. And then the other end will connect at the back where the fire wire is. Okay, as you can see, we have the fire wire cable connected here as well with the power applied. And at the front of the unit, we have the red steady light indicating that the firewire connection is complete and in sync. Now to find out if we have the uh, FCA 1616 connected, all we need to do is go into Launchpad, go to Other, and then Audio MIDI Setup. And as you can see, we have it right there, FCA 1616. No drivers or no installation, nothing. It already recognized it in there. So um, that's the, the input. So we have one and two, three and four, five and six, seven, eight, nine and 10. So, and then we have the, the output, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and 10 being the SPDIF output uh, source. So we all have it all working. So next, let's run Ripper. It's an easy program. Yes, it's all the updates. They're all coming up with messages saying we downloaded it. And we go to options, preferences, and device automatically selected FCA 1616 already. So not a problem. A MIDI, again, we have that one enabled. That one enabled with clock. Oh, super, nothing to do. And that's our device, all good. So let's add um, a track. Track. New track, there we go. And the input, if you want it mono, input one to input 10, or if you want stereo, input one and two, or two and three, three and four, whichever we like. Let's just do a mono track input one. Um, and what I might do is I might connect my, my microphone into um, the microphone XLR cable, input the input one, and turn the 48 volt phantom power on. Okay. It's on. And let's turn the volume up. Oh, I'm getting signal on the box. And um, if we actually arm it here, and there we go, we are getting signal through here as well. And that's coming from the microphone. Right there. Or there. Um, so it's actually all working. So if we hit the um, record button and start recording. There we go. It's uh, recording on screen as well. So we can adjust the volume. That's not bad. So even maybe a little bit more volume and we can adjust and I can talk louder, closer. Um, so it's all recording. The input and the output on the unit flashing with the lights, um, with green light. So it's all good connections. And we can stop it. Save all. And let's play it back. Obviously we are not going to hear anything because it's coming out of um, the box. But uh, we can see signals are going up and uh, whatever 
whatever I talked, it's all happening. So it's all good. So easy as that. So that's how easy it is to connect the um, Firepower FCA 1616 using the Firewire connection to the Mac and um, and record using the microphone that I have here that I've just connected into um, input one of um, of the channels and all gone perfect simple well I hope by now you know everything about the Behringer's Firepower FCA 1616 audio interface how to uh, connect it what uh, functions it has what options it has and so on as I demonstrated in this video we even connected to the Mac using the Firewire connection with no trouble whatsoever now in my next video and probably will be the final video on this device um, as a review we will go through some of its functionalities some of its good options and good uh, audio parts and some of its um, bad things as well um, not in quality wise but you know audio part and practicalities and uh, and options and so on and some of its limitations so that's what i will do in my next video i hope you enjoy the, this series and until next time thanks for watching and cheerio